Once you have all the information you need to create a new account, click on the Create Account button from the home page. Enter your Fresno County Social Services case number. Enter the date of birth of the case payee. Typically, this is the primary EBT cardholder. Enter the Social Security number of the case payee. When entering, do not use spaces or dashes. If the case payee does not have a Social Security number, the case payee's Client Identification Number, or SIN, can be entered to create the account. Just click on the I don't have a SSN button. Then you will have a field where you can enter the client identification number. Enter your email address. Re-enter or confirm your email address. This email address will be used for confirmation emails as well as any troubleshoot issues such as recovering your account and resetting your password. Enter your password. Your password must be at least 6 to 64 characters and include at least one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, one number, and one special character, such as the at symbol, exclamation mark, dollar sign, hashtag, etc. Select three account security questions and enter your answers below. The security questions will be used in the instance you forget your password or need to recover your password. Enter the site key in the reCAPTCHA field for security purposes. Or check, I am not a robot. Click on the Create Account button. If information has been left out or rejected, you will get a notice at the top of the page. Double check your case information to move forward with creating an account. You can also contact our call center to get account help. Once you successfully create a PASS account, you will receive this message. You will need to log into the email account used to create your PASS account. Just so you know, you will not need to verify your PASS account each time only when you first create an account or forget your password. Open the confirmation email and click on the link provided in the email to verify your PASS account. If you do not see the confirmation email in your inbox, check your spam folder. Once you click on the confirmation link, you will be sent back to the PASS website. You will see this message. Log into your PASS account using your email and PASS password. Click the Login button. Once you successfully logged into your PASS account, you will be taken to the My Case page. Remember, once you are done accessing your PASS account, be sure to log out. You can click on the Log Out button located on the top right of the web page.